afternoon all. A little bit of a change for me today. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, we're just heading out. I'm out with uh, John, Bob and Sandy. I'm off to do a wild camp on the border ridge. It's only my second ever wild camp. I've got a new 10 foot a day. It's a snug pack Scorpion 2 and it says it is a four season tent. So I've never tried it. I've pitched it in the lounge, pitched it in the garden and that's about it. So we'll see how it goes. The forecast is dry, but it's also forecast for um, really strong winds. So we'll see how the tent stands up and hopefully there'll be no disasters in the middle of the night. So we'll carry on up College Valley. I'm gonna climb up Red Cribs and find somewhere nice to pitch for the night. So we'll catch you soon. Right, we're just making our way up Red Cribs. Quite a steep climb, but fortunately it's not too long a climb. Just passing Hen Hall on the left there. There's three sisters at the bottom, but you're not made out on GoPro. And that's a look down the College Valley. I think that is a potential Easter tour, right in the centre of the frame there. Probably got about another 45 minutes or so of daylight left. Uh, ideally, I'd like to be pitched in daylight, but we'll see how long it takes us to get up here. Carrying 23 kilos on my back, so a little bit of a struggle, but we'll get there. Right, I've eventually made it to the top of Red Cribs. As you can see, it's quite a quite a climb, especially with this massive backpack. Above you look down the valley there. I think that over on the left there, I think it's a black hag or possibly the shell. It's hen hole again and the kind of flanks of Cheviot. We're just heading along the border ridge to the um, Orkup refuge hut. It's probably, well, you probably can't make it out on this camera, but it's not too far away now. A few hundred yards and we'll be there. And I think we're going to look for a pitch around here somewhere. It's relatively sheltered. Um, got a little bit of a hill behind us. The wind's coming from um, the west, so it shouldn't be too bad. But we'll get set up and see how it goes. Right, there we go. Walk up refuge hut. We're across the windy gale. Scottish lowlands. I think that definitely is the shell. That cag must be elsewhere. The guy's just in front now looking for a pitch. Perfect timing because I've got plenty of daylight to get set up. I don't know if we'll see a sunset or not, but you never know. This will be a nice view of Hen Hall to wake up to tomorrow. Hopefully it'll stay dry. Got a bit of food to cook, got some burgers, brought a few beers as well. So it should be a good night. Right, so that's the tent ready for pegging out on the ground sheet. We're talking a nice view of Hen Hall in the morning. It's windy here, so I've uh, tied one of the guy lines to my backpack. Just stop it flying off up the valley. Get pegged out and get the gear inside. Right, that's me set up for tonight. I've got my Leviathan EV900. So I've got my Alkit airbed and I've just got one of these cards on the screen. Cross protector on the floor to keep some of the heat in. There's enough room in here for my backpack and myself. It's actually a two person tent, this, but as I say, if you buy a two person tent, it's really just for a one person and the gear. I've got myself a few beers, I've got the old uh, Guinness coffee drink. I've tried this, it's really nice. And just some San Miguel and some orange for breakfast. And we'll get some cooking done later on. So far, it's gone well. Right, that's me all set up. It's a snug pack Scorpion 2. First time I've used it, so it's four seasons, so let's see how it holds out tonight. Set up nice and easy. There's Bob there, there's Solo, Billy Berg. John's got the MSR Tour 2. I've got the one, the one man version of that. And Sandy's got a small one person tent over there, sheltered behind the refuge shot. Lovely views. I'm expecting in the morning. Hope it stays dry. The forecast for dry, so hopefully it'll remain like that. That we're going to see a sunset tonight. It's too cloudy. 
Windy old hills, nice and cosy in here. It's upside down, is it? No, that's the right way. A couple of years, then uh, wait till it gets dark and get cooking. Throw my pillow up, get that done now. Right, that's dinner on. Got some little burgers. Got some bones on and everything. So. Feel a bit hungry after I've up that out. I'm just eating cooking fine so far. Not much to see now, but I've been joined by a couple of other people. So I'm eating a few guys in the next trail, so I'm just cooking a couple of nights. I'm going to have these in a couple of years and that's the night for it. Well, that'll do for me. Very nice. Red hot. One and all, I was awake early this morning, so I've came for a quick walk up to the top of Orkup Cairn, which is uh, about a mile from the summit of Chevius. It's uh, windy up here, but it's uh, dry and it's not too cold. Had a good night last night, had a right laugh uh, with John, Bob, Sandy, and some other guys that we met in the Orkup Refuge hut. So I'm going to go down, do some breakfast, get packed up and then head off home. But uh, all in all it was a very successful camp. down in the hen hole back up to Oak up Ken and the refuge hut is right over there somewhere on the border ridge shell over there right head back down do some breakfast right, that's me just about back at the tent there's Oak up Ken up there and there's um, hen hole I've packed the tent and make myself a coffee. Right, like a quick coffee, get the gear packed up and then uh, get back in the car and head home. A perfect night here, come back here again sometime. Well guys, that's me back home after a very successful camp. I forgot to do an end video when we were out in the hill, so uh, I may as well do it now and finish off. It was a really successful camp, um, had a great time last night in the Orkup Refuge Hut, had a few beers, talked a load of rubbish for a few hours, but uh, it was a great night. I thoroughly recommend the Snug Pack Scorpion 2. It was a really robust tent. I pegged it out with Delta pegs because we were expecting strong wind, which didn't actually materialize, but it felt absolutely rock solid. So yep, yeah, definitely recommend that. Um, we're looking forward to our next camp in a few weeks time, so I'll be doing a video for that. But in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching this time. and. Uh, as always, if you like the video, click on like, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much, guys. See you next time.